you going to do, Jones? Right, eh? Don't panic. Don't panic. No. Well, no that's not panic. Panic. So what was all the fuss about? A fantastic response from the Wolves. I think because it had been such a long time since the Fulham game and the Reading game being postponed and then going away. Tricky game against Leeds, although they were really poor today. They didn't turn up and quite frankly, I think there's a lot of holes that Leeds need to fill before they can mount any sort of serious promotion push, push next season. Uh, Wolves, though, a couple of eyebrows possibly raised uh, on the team selection. Danny Bart coming in for Ryan Bennett and Bonatini retaining his place up front. But Bart in particular, I thought, was really good at the back uh, today. He was he played like a captain. The last time we saw him, of course, was against Bristol City before the new year. And he was weak in that game. He was hot-headed and he got sent off very early on. But today, he he played well. He didn't have a lot to do, but... What he did have to do, he did it properly. But for me, the outstanding performance today was from Willy Bolly. He is such a good defender at championship level. As I've said, I think yesterday in my preview video, that he doesn't have to try because he's so good. He's so confident on the ball. He's so good going forward. He's so solid defensively. There is no player in the championship like him. And it's fantastic that we've got him. So the game started off. Quite evenly balanced. Leeds were doing a lot of pressing on our defence and looked like they might force a mistake. But Wolves withheld that pressure and then made a couple of chances breaking away. Uh, Jota looking really creative and looking back to his best. Although he should have put away a couple of chances. He had an open goal that he just sort of didn't fall for him properly and he ended up hitting his heel and going backwards, which is a shame. Bonatini as well getting into a couple of good areas, but the ball not sitting properly for him as well. Uh, but then from a corner, Barry Douglas whipping it in and Sace with a finding space uh, from losing his marker in Dallas and then coolly putting it into the corner with a good header. And then Wolves looked dangerous again, although there was a big stoppage in play and it sort of spoiled their rhythm a little bit. But then they came back at the end of the, of the first half and Bolly reacting quicker than the Leeds defence from a Danny Bart header against the crossbar to knock it in. Great finish. 2-0, still a little bit cautious, I think, personally, because of the Norwich game a couple of weeks ago, which we threw away. But they controlled the game really well, I think, the second half. They didn't let Leeds have a sniff. They didn't give away any free kicks or any opportunities for Leeds to come back into the game. They really, really did well. And then a phobie coming on for Bonatini. And I think a phobie now has got a very good case to start the game against Aston Villa on Saturday because he looks more threatening up front. He looks more likely to score a goal than Bonatini and he took his chance really well. He only had one chance today. Jota putting the ball through and then a phobie definitely chipping it over their goalkeeper who in fairness had had a good game and 3-0 is a bit harsh on him uh, on the young goalkeeper. But a great finish from a phobie. Personally, I would be starting him instead of Bonatini on Saturday. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. I just want to give a special mention as well to Undai and to Sice. I know that Sky gave him, uh, Undai, their man of the match for today. I think he played really well and you can't argue with the stats. Great uh, tackling and passing and uh, aerial challenges were fantastic. But Sice as well, I think, has improved over these couple of games. He has had a few weeks out with injury and coming back into the team. Didn't play well against Fulham. Didn't play well against Norwich either, but today looked better using the ball more wisely and it'd be interesting to see which of those two drops out for Neves because inevitably Neves will start against Villa so who would you drop out of those two because I think it's pretty difficult after today and uh, we know that Nuno doesn't like to change a winning team but surely Neves comes in for Saturday thank you very much for watching today's video don't forget to drop a like and don't panic it's all fine even if we do lose against Villa on Saturday which we won't see you goodbye